Hello, my name is Pete, and welcome to the first ever episode of Pete's Podcast. Today we are going to be reviewing the book The Underdogs by Mike Lupica. Warning, this spoils the book. If you're going to read it, stop now. Okay, so the main character in this book is Will Tyler. He plays running back for his local football team. The only thing is that there might not be a season this year. His town is very poor, and it doesn't have enough money or kids for a team. I know, right? But stay tuned and find out what happens in this book. So Will has two big problems he has to solve. He has to find more kids to play and find equipment for them to use. A tough task. But he decides to throw up a Hail Mary pass for a season. Actually, more like two. Will has always loved New Balance cleats, so he went to them for help. He wrote a letter to the CEO of New Balance, Rob Martini, asking New Balance to please consider sponsoring the Forbes 11-year-old team. Forbes is where Will lives. For many days, Will had to wait and hope for a reply. Finally, he got it. Mr. Martini said that he knows how much a football season means to him and that they're going to help out. One pass down, one to go. Now, he had to find players. His quarterback from last year, along with another kid, moved. They only had 10 kids on a team, and you needed 11. One day, when Will was at the field trying to get a workout in, he spotted a girl kicking the ball really far. After that, Will had talked to her a lot at different times when they were at the field. When Will played midget football, they had a good middle linebacker. His name was Toby. A couple of years ago, he quit because of his father, who expected him to be absolutely perfect. Will had also talked to him about coming back, but he got no answer. One day, when Will was at the field, the girl, Hannah, came over and said, I want to be a part of your team. The response of Will was, what? He knew they needed players, but a girl? Though the more he thought about it, the more he liked it. But he had to run it by his dad, the coach, and the other players. And, uh, well... They really didn't like that idea, but they decided to let her try out. And when she did, they were blown away by her kicking, punting, speed, and toughness. They ended up letting her join the team. The only thing was, could they possibly get through the whole season with only 11 people? Okay, well let's take a break from that to have a little fun fact about the author. Mike Lupica currently does a political column. Okay, now back to the book. They played their first game against Palmer, and they lost pretty bad. And their next game was against the defending champion, Castle Rock Bears. Will's team had played the Bears' last championship game and came up one touchdown short. They were outnumbered by about 30, and it wasn't looking good. But they played them tough. It was 7-7 at half. Will's team was down 27-20 with five seconds left at the five and they called Will's favorite play 37 pitch. He found a nice hole off the left side where he was supposed to be going but when he got near the end zone he saw the linebacker who had a great angle on him. He decided to just run as fast as he could and hope to get to the end zone but when he fell he was short of the goal line at the one yard line and the referees were signaling Game over. Will's team had come short once again, one touchdown. They turned their season around and ended up making it to the championship game. And once again, they were playing the Castle Rock Bears. Back when Will's dad played on the high school team, they used to have rallies for them every Thursday night in Town Square. But since the town got a whole lot smaller, they can no longer have them. But, Will wrote a letter to the editor of the newspaper asking him to spread the word about having a rally once again.
for his 11-year-old team before the game on Saturday. The editor turned out to like it so much that he actually posted it on the front page of the paper. That Friday night, everybody in town showed up in town square. Mr. Demartini even showed up. There was only one thing. They only had 10 guys. It was going to be 10 on 11 in the championship game. The game before, their quarterback had thrown a block and broken his ankle. But you're probably thinking, wouldn't that make nine guys? After the Castle Rock game, Toby came over to Will and said, I want to play. And Toby ended up having a good enough arm to take over their quarterback spot. Everybody in Forbes ended up showing up to the game, too. The bleachers were full. Surprisingly, the undermanned Bulldogs were up 13-8 at the half. The Bears had the ball near the end zone with 30 seconds left in the whole game. It was tied 16-16. They threw the ball to their stud receiver, Kendrick. But Will changed positions with the safety right before the play. He smoothly picked the ball off and ran it back to the other end zone for a pick six. The Bulldogs had won the championship game and had not come short to Castle Rock this time. What a book, right? Stay tuned for more Pete's podcast coming up next.